Hello everyone, Epic Eclipse here, and today I'm bringing you another episode of Prospects Guide. So today we're going to be going over a couple more things. Uh, the episode's going to be done a little bit different than usual. I'm going to be going over a couple things that you can do, and then a couple more teamwork plays and things to do with your teams, and basically some other tips like that. So first thing that we're going to go off of is um, sort of improving your aerials, doing sort of different type of things with your aerials, uh, like backwards flying, hovering, and actually using your air, uh, using your wheels while doing an aerial to get sort of a knuckleball. I'll explain later. But um, first things first, I think I want to go over is hovering. So for hovering, it could be used in many different ways. Um, basically, if you go and you fly, and you fly too high up a little bit, or like the ball's gonna come down, but you're still flying up, or you haven't reached the ball yet, um, a useful thing is to hover to the ball instead of keep on flying up. So it's basically to hover is you just repetitively click the boost button and see how I'm just, I'm literally just staying in the same spot. Now a good way to practice is literally just fly from like the two in between bars of the goal and try to fly exactly to the two in between bars of the other goal like that so that's how you ho hover straight to hover in different directions what you have to do is you have to air roll and actually use the tilt button then which i didn't do so correctly but uses for that let me go over that again is so you're flying up and let's say the ball is still a little distance but it's gonna hit you around this height you just hover to it and then angle yourself and you can hit the ball so that's basically it for hovering. I mean, there isn't much uses behind it, but there will be a couple times that it will really come in handy. So next thing I want to do is flying backwards. This can help you out in many ways, in offense and in defense. Because let's just say, like, the shot, a shot's coming towards you, and you're faced this way, and it's behind you, sort of over in the corner over there. To have to turn around even with the handbrake and go up for it and get it that takes a decent amount of time to just go like this and go and hit it that way is much quicker so there's a lot of techniques to get better at flying and I'm gonna be going flying backwards and I'm gonna be going over some of those so one way to get better at backwards flying is you go and you basically just backwards fly from one goal to the other and also if you realize you're kind of practicing your hovering there too so that helps uh just kind of flying straight backwards and helps your maneuverability a little bit also another thing to note about backwards flying is uh the controls are inverted so left goes right and right goes uh left also up goes down and down goes up so that's a good note to know but another thing that can actually help you out with aerial fly, uh, backwards aerials is just turtling because to get used to the inverted controls turtling is the same thing just going upside down and like going or if you go around turtling you, ha you get used to having to turn like left for left uh, left for right and right for left so that's something that I found pretty useful to do so let me just i'm gonna hop into training really quickly and i'll show you the next example so another way to practice backwards flying is to do it in training basically you lift off and you go and just like normal training you want to try to fly backwards i mean that was a really poor example uh you don't have to exactly launch like i launch that was really bad you don't exactly have to launch like i launch like where you kind of spin like that there's other ways to do it. Oops, I shot that a little bit too high. Uh, so instead, if you're just starting off where the air roll can be a little difficult, you can just drive backwards and fly to it. So that also works too. And obviously you'd want to start out at rookie training and move your way up the ladder to eventually, if you can get all-star down, then I would say you're pretty damn good at backwards flying. So that is mostly what backwards flying 
like helpful tricks to get better at backwards flying. But other things that could be used for, like I said before, was just getting quicker to the ball, like flying to like get a stop or something like that. Or let's say like you're down the other side and you know you're gonna get back in defense, but oh, the team, the other team, you know, they miss the ball and it's like right in front of the goal and you got no one there. You know, you can backwards fly right into it. Sometimes if the ball is not there, the camera angle can get a little goofy. Sorry about that. But um, that's really what backwards flying would be useful. It's a very useful thing to learn, and I would highly recommend trying to learn it. So another thing that is um, a very useful aerial trick is actually using your wheels. So it's not a good thing all the time to use your wheels, but I will show you an example right now of why you should use your wheels sometimes. So, if you use the front of your car, like I just did, you see the ball kind of goes off hard. And you know what? A lot of people will be expecting that. But if you go up for the ball, and you know what? You just hit it with your wheels, the ball will come off your car a lot slower. And that may, like, say if a team... A, the, uh, uh, the person on the other team is rushing for the ball like waiting for you to come and hit it and he's like coming across and he jumps across like this like really quick like that obviously if you do something faster let me pause this really quickly if you do something faster he may be able to anticipate that correctly and hit it that guy that's coming across like this will never expect you to hit it with your wheels. So if anything, he jumps across and he's going to try to backflip or something. And, you know, if you hit it nice and weak, it's just going to really roll right in. So that's another useful trick. And also, if you've been doing, like, really hard aerials all day and, like, really big getting up, like, getting up there and hitting it really hard in, they may be expecting a hard shot, so they may be anticipating it. And one of your shots, you can really kind of throw in, like, a knuckleball there by using your wheels and it can throw them off and you can get a nice easy goal on it or even that your teammate can come and follow up on it too it, it gives a lot of opportunities so uh the next thing i want to talk about is landing right this is a simple one this is going to be really short uh basically when you're flying and let's say you get all wanky and stuff a big thing in the game is to land your wheels you want to use your air roll and so let's get myself and like really land on your wheels so let's say you have like a fast break or something and you know what, someone hits you and you like fly off this way you know landing on your wheels will give you a much better chance of recovering and flying straight to the ball and putting it in or keep on being able to chase it if you go and you get it and then you get hit and you like land like that and look the ball's already all over there and then you gotta go back and try to get it and then put it in that takes a lot more time and obviously the teammate the other team may have their defenders back already and you may have lost your fast break so that's something that's really short and simple just by using the air roll button and stuff that you really want to try to always land on your wheels and even if you're going up against the wall you want to try to like land parallel with the wall uh, I mean sometimes these little corner spots here can get a little wanky but you can still do that too so that's landing right that wasn't too hard but um Next thing that I want to talk about is a, something called, I call it a quick off, if you watch my other series, um, but it's basically just a quick face off. So what you do for this is, on controller what you want to do is you want to jump and just kind of go to the right slightly or left, it depends on what side it is, and boost your way through and you'll jump a lot faster now on the and it's called a quick off because you'll get there a lot faster uh, it's basically used mostly off of this uh, kickoff here so you just go and you jump and it's sort of like that but it's a little bit harder to do on the uh, keyboard on the keyboard what you do is you go and jump pressing W and then press W and A and jump again and that's how kind of how you get the quick off what this does now if you come from this position and you know you're boosting and you do like one of these that little tumble loses you a lot of time as 
even if you're like boosting through it, it still does. So being able to just jump like that, you don't really lose much speed off of it. So that's basically use of that quick off. Now I will show you the next one in just one second here. So the next quick off or quick kick off is basically like a double jump. So what you do is you jump and then you jump again and generally speaking you will get there a lot quicker than the other team will and that will push the board down court and then you'll have your team to really follow you up and hopefully get a goal off of that so that's the two quick offs and i'm going to be talking about one more face off whatever you want to do kick off that me and my team does so this works with doubles or with uh triples so basically it's one you know you have one guy here and the other guy right here so the one guy that's back here will collect that boost in front of him and then drop back here. And the other guy will come up and go up to the ball and just miss and just go the other way. Now this will work if they're going, you know, to rush the ball because usually people hit it like that, which is straight down. So now this other person will be waiting here. And depending on what side the other person goes, the person that just missed the kickoff, he goes to the right, you shoot it. You What you want to do is you try to pop it up to the right or to the left. And then from that, your other teammate... It's going to be trying over here to go and redirect your shot in. It's very complicated, but if you do practice it a little bit, it can be very effective. And for me and my team, it's worked quite a bit. So, that's really it for this episode of Prospect Guide. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this has helped in some way. Uh, I know I said before next episode would be dribbling, but that will be next episode. And then that will covering that will be covering ground dribbling and aerial dribbling dribbling that's why it's taking a little bit longer because i just want to freshen up on aerial dribbling and make sure i teach it right so i hope this has helped in some way this has been epic eclipse and i will see you in the next one